Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I'm going to be trying out a new recipe that I found online and that is for Pioneer Woman's Best Chicken Breast Recipe. Now I saw this and knew I wanted to try it because not only does it look really good and really easy, but it's also going to be really easily altered to make Weight Watcher friendly and that's what I'm going to be doing with this recipe. I'll make sure and link the recipe down below that I am altering so you can see that as well as how I'm going to be making it down below. But anyway, this looks really good, really easy. So I thought I would try it and take you guys along with me to see how this turns out. I'll go over the ingredients really quick. There's just a few of them. So first off, I've got three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Here, I've got one and a half cups of shredded Parmesan. And then here, I've got some nonfat plain Greek yogurt. You can need a cup of that. You're gonna need a little bit of fresh ground black pepper, a teaspoon of seasoned salt, two teaspoons granulated garlic, and then some cooking spray. And that is it. Very, very simple. I will jump into this. First thing you wanna do is get your oven preheating to 375. And then here in a 13 by nine inch casserole dish, I'm gonna spray it a little bit of this cooking spray. And then I'm gonna just lay my chicken breasts in here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just set this aside. And then in a medium sized bowl, I'm gonna add in my one cup fat-free Greek yogurt two teaspoons granulated garlic, one teaspoon seasoned salt, about a half teaspoon fresh ground black pepper, a cup of the shredded Parmesan, and then I'm gonna just mix all of those together real well. Like that. Now I'm gonna take my chicken breasts and I'm going to evenly spread my yogurt mixture on the top of them. All right, now I'm gonna bake this at 375 until these reach an internal temp of 165. The recipe says about 25 to 30 minutes, but these are pretty good sized chicken breasts, so I think it's gonna take quite a bit longer than that, but I will be back once those are done. I let these cook for just about 45 minutes, and they are registering all at or a little bit above 165. So they are done. So now what the instruction says to do is to turn on your broiler and broil these for a couple minutes to get them a little more browned. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will be back. I just left those in for about two minutes because I didn't wanna end up overdoing it, which I tend to do when I use my broiler. So. I'm gonna let these cool for just a few minutes and then I will go ahead and cut into them. Okay, I've got a serving of this, which is half of a chicken breast. And for me, that is four points. This stuff smells so good, I cannot tell you. It just smells really, really good. Um, there's kind of an inside shot. We'll go ahead and try this and let you know what we think of it. But if it tastes even half as good as it smells, it should be pretty good. Have my husband try it first. Does not smell good? Mm-hmm. Looks good too. Yeah. I probably didn't broil it as long as it should have been, but I didn't want to burn it, which I tend to do when I use my broiler. It's a little hot still, huh? Whoops. Whoops, I didn't mean to zoom in there. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm. You cut me a little bite and I'll try it too when you get a chance. So that Parmesan is really popping. Oh yeah, and I think that's what's really coming out um, smell-wise is the smell of the cheese. Oh yeah, so the um, Greek yogurt kind of acts as a 
tenderizer with meat. You can tell that's real. So yeah, the chicken's super tender. It's got that little tang. I'm getting the garlic aftertaste. Yeah. Um, tang of, nice. so you can taste the garlic, you can taste the Parmesan, and a little tang mixed with both of those with the uh, Greek yogurt. Oh man, that's good. Yeah, that is good. So four points for that, which, you know, I don't think that's too bad, no, that's for, bad especially for how that tastes. But this one was like super, super easy to lighten up too, which is why I knew I wanted to try it. He's going back for more. Well, anyway, I think that definitely was a success. I will be making this again in the future. So again, that is Pioneer Woman's best chicken breast dinner or recipe. Definitely pretty good. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks as always for watching. We're gonna go eat some of this. Uh, we will see you on the next one.